That is how you do it. Keeping it classy. What up? That's so cool. Drinking his Coke, riding his horse. Yeehaw! <laughs> hey! Hey, baby boy. Oh, he's nice. Hi. He's our son, baby. He's our boy. He's gonna do amazing things. Good morning, buddy. Hey. Says it's hey. a good morning. Thank hi, Dad. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> He's a happy baby this morning. Yeah, Looking nice, good, nice seat, huh? Exploring the world. <laughs> I love when he does this. He goes crazy with his head sometimes. Where do I want to look? Where do I want to move it to? <laughs> I am getting ready for the day. Actually, I'm going to be all day shooting a wedding. So I'm going to be gone all day, which is kind of a bummer. But I love shooting weddings because they're a ton of fun. But I, I actually woke up with this sharp pain in my stomach. It's like right, maybe like right there. I have no idea what it is, but it's like I get this sharp pain every once in a while. I'm totally not being a hypochondriac. Missy's totally making fun of me in her, in her head right now. But seriously, I have this sharp pain. It almost feels like I held my bladder too long and now my bladder's like sore or something. What do you guys think it could be? Because it hurts and I really hope it goes away. And I'm not sure. Like I went, I got up and I got, I went pee this morning and, and nothing like hurt or anything. But yeah, definitely feeling some pain. Oh, is that supposed to hurt? Um. Hang on, ready? Ah. Appendicitis <laughs> is when I press and then when I pull out, it hurts. Well, that didn't hurt where you where you're just at now. So, but you're but it's hurting when I Ow. press on. Yeah, it. it hurts when you press on it. Not when I pull out. Yeah. So that usually just means you have gas. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> is my is the bladder sort of off to the right? Oh, I don't know, you guys. It hurts though, and I hope it goes away because I'm gonna have a busy day. What do you say? Gotta gotta get some breakfast. There you go. Oh, you want a kiss? Kiss me. <laughs> he has to give you a kiss? Kiss when you feed him, he gives you a kiss. Bye, boys. I gotta say goodbye to my boys. <laughs> I got all my gear. And I gotta go. Carmen, you gonna be okay without me today? I need you to man down the fort. You're the young, or you're the oldest, okay? So it's all up to you. Don't let Oliver do anything naughty, okay? No chicks. No chicks, dude. He's like, I'll eat them. I eat chicks. Kiss bye bye. Dinner. Love you. Love you bye. So I have to run into Target to grab some batteries. But look at these cute little puppies. Hey puppies. Hi. Oh, you guys are cute. Missy would die right now. <laughs> are you ready to get ready for the day? Tell me the truth. Do you have a toot or do you have to toot? Toot or toot? Got some batteries because batteries are photographer's best friend, you guys. Well, to be honest. They're my Flash's best friend because my Flash will eat these babies up. The dog is a man's best friend. Batteries, photographer's best friend. Red Bull. So it's going to be a long day. Red Bull is um, tired people's best friend. Yeah. So Brian is off for the day. So me and Oliver are having mommy baby day. And so you guys got me to entertain you for the day. What do you think we should do today? Really? I don't know what we're going to do. I will say that I'd like to get some stuff done around the house. We haven't been able to decorate downstairs, like hang things up and stuff since we moved in just because I was super pregnant and then I had Oliver and so we just kind of been putting it off and putting it off. So I'm kind of hoping to maybe get some stuff hung up on the wall and it really sucks. But I remember I was telling you guys like a week ago that my mom's back has been awesome and she's just like, She's like was healed. It was a miracle and we were like we've been so thankful like she was able to be at the birth and there, she's had really almost no problems. And then like this week it just went downhill and now she's basically back to she can still do stuff but not very much and she's definitely in a lot of pain and we're just getting worried that we're getting back to where she was um, a few months ago. Definitely uh, it's just upsetting because we thought we were in the clear and it turns out we're not and 
I don't know if she's going to end up having to do the surgery in the end um, or what, but that is part of the reason why we also haven't been able to get stuff done around the house. So I'm going to be doing stuff today, and little Oliver's going to help me. Hey, saw those sick shirts you made! Oh, thanks. You like those? Yeah, but how come you didn't make one with me on it? Well, I, we, we might. We might. You really want one with your face on it? Yeah, that'd be a bestseller, yo! Also, why don't you sell them in my size? Well, to be fair, zombie, you're a little small. Hey, who you calling small? Little Ollie is taking a nice little nap. Hopefully he stays like that for a while because I'm trying to get stuff done, get stuff cleaned up. But I thought I'd take a break and play with Karma. Karma got some yummy little treats. <laughs> Didn't you? Some yummy little treats. <laughs> yeah, I got some treats yesterday. They're baked delights. They're ooh, with apple apple flavored filling and real bacon. That to me does not sound appetizing. I will attempt to show you guys some of his tricks. You got some tricks, huh? I guess this room is kind of turned into Karma's play area where he keeps some of his toys, huh? This where you keep your toys? You need a toy box down here so that you can put your toys away, huh? Oh, did you just wink? He's like, yeah, I do. All right, let's see if I can show you some tricks. I seriously don't even want to like smell these. They sound disgusting. Apple filling and bacon. That's ugh, horrible sound. Okay, sit. Oh, roll over. <laughs> okay, fine, do that one. These treats aren't the easiest because it takes forever for him to eat them. Okay, ready? Bing. No! Karma! No, oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, sit. No! Karma, come here. Sit. <laughs> sit. Oh my gosh, Karma. I don't want to do that one. I don't know where I am, but um, on the side of the road, there is a man on a horse drinking a Coke. See? Not lying. That is how you do it. Keeping it classy. What up? That's so cool. Drinking his Coke, riding his horse. Yeehaw! <laughs> this reminds me of where I grew up in this like old little hick town. I must be like in a hick town somewhere. <laughs> Okay, bing. <laughs> no, not roll over. Come here. Oh no, no. <laughs> You're such a brat. Karma seems to have forgotten all his tricks. <laughs> when I say stick him up, he's supposed to stick up his um, arms and then I say bang and he plays dead. But he seems to have forgotten. Ready? Bang. <laughs> no. Bang. <laughs> he's like, I give up. <laughs> bang. <laughs> he's not even gonna try now. He's like, just give me the treat. <laughs> High five. Yeah, all right, simple. You need some training lessons again. He seems to have forgotten all his tricks. Lay down, <laughs> he's just done. He's like, you're not giving me any treats, lady. I'm not doing tricks for you. You guys, I almost stepped on this little guy, see if I can catch him. Look how, <laughs> he disappeared. Oh my gosh, it's a hot one today. It's going to be over 100 degrees. And it's so boiling hot already. Okay, so I'm sitting here about to go in. Um, I have a wedding to shoot, but the vlog just went live and people are ordering shirts like crazy, you guys. I'm you guys have no idea what that means to us. Oh my gosh, like we put so much hard work into this and to see it like starting to pay off is so cool. I'm just so stoked. So thank you, Casey. Thank you, April. Thank you, Sher Shelby. Thank you, David. Thank you, Alana. Thank you, thank you Ali. Thank you, Jen. Um, my phone is blowing up. You guys are so cool. So if you guys haven't bought a shirt, go into the description and check them out. Um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be sending direct messages to everyone who, um, orders one and tells me that they ordered one with a little confirmation. So thank you. This is insane. <laughs> I'm like freaking out. my phone is blowing up right now. That actually reminds me, last night I was taking the trash out with Brian and he told me that last time he was out here he saw a huge lizard. He said it was like six inches long and it was like the biggest lizard he ever seen and it was pitch dark and I started screaming. It was like the worst thing ever. I was so scared. <sighs> oh my gosh, it is seriously so hot out there. It's, it's like really bad. I am listening to Miley Cyrus, do not judge. <laughs> Uh, we have to have music on at all times, otherwise Oliver gets really upset. And he might also be watching too. You need to close your eyes. <laughs> Guard yourself. I might have just made a huge mess because I got out everything so that we can start decorating. And then I got super sidetracked with all these pictures. And then I started Instagram pictures um, because 
I just figured out that Oliver actually looks a lot like me. Okay, guys? Okay? He looks a lot like me. And it kind of makes a mommy sad when all everyone says is he looks just like Brian. Or the one that gets me the most is you may as well just be holding a baby Brian. That like really, that like really, <laughs> as I'm nursing my baby, I do not like to think of him as my husband. But anyways, <laughs> so I Instagram this picture and this is of me and my mommy looking, she's so pretty. And um, yeah, that is me. But I think that that actually looks a lot like this guy. I don't know, obviously I don't want him to look like me because I'm a girl and he's a boy. But at the same time, to have a lot of features, you know, I definitely think he has my eyes and stuff like that. So. I ran into this picture that we, me and my sister, we had family took pictures done almost 10 years ago, okay? Now we get to look back at them and just laugh, okay? So just give it a second to really sink in exactly what's going on in this picture. And, but this was a posed picture by the photographer. <laughs> okay, so if you can't tell, I'm holding my little sister, that's Cassie, in my arms. Uh, she's holding a flower, a, a fake flower. Uh, she's not allowed to smile. And I'm looking down at her. <laughs> I am wearing this weird flower crown. So is she. Basically, she <laughs> came up with this. And now we seriously just sit here and look at it. <laughs> I'm on my way home. And I gotta say, it's days like these. I'm so thankful for Apple Maps on my iPhone. I would literally never get anywhere, you guys. But I become dependent on it. And I think I become dependent on technology a lot. Thumbs up right now if you guys are dependent on technology. That's just our generation, I guess. That's how we grew up. But yeah, I've totally become dependent on Apple Maps now. I literally would never get anywhere. But let me know in the comments, what is your favorite iPhone or Android app? I guess I'll throw Android app on my own. I think my favorite app is probably, well, I've become really addicted to the YouTube app and the Tumblr app, because now I'm obsessed with Tumblr and Apple Maps. Those are like my top three most used apps. I thought I would actually talk about something that's been kind of bugging me I guess. It's funny because the comments are usually really really awesome and I, I absolutely love reading the comments. One thing is that if it's a hater, you can usually tell like it's a hater or something, those don't hurt me. It's the comments that phrase the question as though they are trying to be concerned or they're but, but at the same time, they're, they're not being concerning because they're actually hurting you. And like obviously with having a little baby, um, we get a lot of advice and, and we appreciate some of the advice because as new parents, advice is fine and we do put ourselves out there. Today or the other day, someone commented and said that they felt Oliver was too small and he seemed not alert. She was phrasing it as though she was concerned but at the same time being hurtful and I just want to take this time to kind of like mention that it's not really very nice and I don't know what she was trying to accomplish by telling me that she thinks Oliver is small and not alert. And obviously Oliver is perfectly fine and he is perfectly alert and you guys do have to remember that you only see this, you know, a tiny part of our day. I think that a lot of people need to realize that they're not going to say it to their best friend or their sister. You should try not to put it in a comment, especially to a new mom. But like I said, most part, our comments are amazing and I love reading everything from you guys because you guys are like so sweet and so encouraging and I would say that like we have the best subscribers. Look at this cute little snug on my friend. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I missed you so much. I missed you so much today. Did you miss me? I'm gonna say that was a yes, I totally did. You are amazing. <laughs> Am I right? It's bath time. Are you ready to take a bath? You have been napping like all day, haven't you? You love bath time, huh? Hashtag dad life. Taking diapers out of the dryer. Taking diapers out of the dryer. Excuse me. He shoots! And he scores! One for dad. I've got diapers! And there is a very naked baby over her! Yeah. I'm going to take a bath! What is it called, Missy, when you spin around? Pir pirouette? Pirouette? Whoa, whoa, okay. Almost lost my balance. Hang on. Whoa! How many times was that? How many times was that, you guys? Okay, one more. Oh! Whew. 
That's enough. You guys are probably all about to hurl. We said we wouldn't do any more than 100, but I mean, we already did more, so um, I think we're going to leave ordering open until the end of this weekend. So by Sunday night at midnight, I have to shut it all down. Oh, that's going to be really fun, though, to watch them get made, and then uh, you guys are going to watch us like ship them out and stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Oops, spooky. <laughs> Check out this crazy rat. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy's cool looking. Do you guys know it's Friday the 13th? It's like the scariest day of the year. When was the last Friday the 13th we had? I don't know, but you did propose to me on a Friday the 13th. Oh my gosh, she's never gonna let that down, is she? Can I get a little skull? No! It's only a dollar! I'm not getting it.